Mike Duffy. He's being investigated for dinging the taxpayer for $30,000 a year on the dubious claim that as residents in Ottawa, he needs it because he's a senator from Prince Edward Island. Uh, but he's been registered in Canada for years and he's been around Ottawa forever. And get this, once the investigation started, he was scrambling to get himself a PI card, health card to cover his tracks. Now, nobody believes that the Senate is going to investigate their cronies. This government put him there. What promises are they going to make that he's going to pay the money back to the taxpayer when he He's found guilty. Yeah. The Honourable House Leader. Mr. Speaker, as I said, all parliamentarians are traditionally expected to maintain a residence in their home region as well as in the national capital region. Uh, as you know, the Senate is doing a review of their rules to ensure that they are correct and, in fact, to ensure that they are being followed properly. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Well, speaking of lack of accountability, the Conflict of Interest Commissioner ruled that the Finance Minister broke the law when he wrote letters to the CRTC. This is because he breached Section 9 of the Conflict of Interest Act, which lays out the behaviour for Cabinet Ministers. Now, Conservative MPs from Wetaskiwin and Leeds and Northumberland also wrote letters to the CRTC, but they didn't break the law because they, like me, aren't covered under the code that covers cabinet ministers. That's the so, That's the question the is, I know they're tired of being in cabinet, they might want to have a change up, <laughs> but why don't they just fess up and admit that the minister broke the laws? They're going to be caught. The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, the uh, President and Executive Vice President of AVR Radio made donations to the New Democratic Party. After that, one of the NDP Heritage critics wrote a letter supportive of the AVR application to the CRTC. So did the NDP Aboriginal Affairs critic, in fact. Even the NDP Ethics critic wrote a letter in support of the AVR radio application. The NDP Ethics critic stands there throwing stones. His glass house lies shattered in ruins around him. 